Okay guys, so what I did last time, I turned it into random colors. Um, so the hash, the hash receives uh, the ID times a variable which I um, create by the parameter to this function. I created the function random grid and so I send in like say a number like 35, okay. So the ID um, is, this is 1 divided by the parameter, so that's how that divides it up. Um, and then also I do ID plus um, plus the parameter sent in. So instead of the ID going from 0 to 35, now the ID goes from 30, 35 to 70 or 69. And then here it goes to GB times 2. So it, it's going to go from 70 all the way up to 105 or 104 or whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. And each time it's times GB2, which is 1 divided by the parameter, which um, is how that I got the whole grid um, with that other. You saw that in the other video, hopefully. <laughs> uh, so anyways, this divides up the screen here with that parameter. Um, this sets the color equal to 0 initially. Um, this, uh, actually we don't even use this, I can take that out. <laughs> so this creates the grid, um, and then this is the random colors, and then you, what's really great about this is I can set it to whatever color I want, or whatever number I want. This is 35, okay, so it's 35 by 35. <coughs> and the reason I got to that was because I just came down from, uh, 1080, and I divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2. So, uh basically what it is. And it's a noise function so it's the same random every time. And what I'm going to do tonight hopefully before I go to bed is work on my little gem function where I would like to start these with a, um, a dimmer color and then inside of each one of these little squares would be a smaller, brighter, smaller, brighter until you know with a little offset and everything get it down get it down to where I can Re redo my whole gem uh, structure. So, all right, stay tuned. We're having fun tonight. <laughs> Thanks for watching.